am going to be performing the um, hip abduction contracture test. And first, I want my patient lying supine, and I'm going to have them flex both knees to 90 degrees and do a hip bridge just to level out the pelvis and go ahead and extend the legs back down. And I'm going to palpate the ASIS and make sure that they're level. And I want to make sure that um, both legs are in neutral and the left leg is slightly abducted. So I want to bring that knee or leg back to neutral. Again, look at the ASIS to make sure they're level. Um, a positive test would show the left pelvis or the left ASIS would be shifted down or the right pelvis, the opposite um, side, the ASIS would be shifted up. This would also indicate that they had tight abdu abductors, um, which would be the glute min or glute two. Is that good though? Mm -hmm. Like besides mm -hmm. the glute two. Okay. I'm going to be doing the hip abduction contracture test. So first I'll have my patient lying supine. I'll ask them to flex both knees up to 90 and do a hip bridge just to neutralize the pelvis and go ahead and extend both legs. I want to then um, palpate both ASISs to make sure that they're level and then double check that uh, their legs are in neutral. Um, in this case, the left leg is slightly abducted, so I want to bring it back to neutral and then check the ASIS again. A positive test would then indicate if um, the left ASIS was shifted down or the right ASIS was shifted up. Um, you want the ASIS to be level. Um, this would show that they had um, tight abductors, which would be the glute min or glute 2. 